Hi, I'm making this video from my front porch because I still have signs up for my daughter's graduation party when she graduated almost three months ago now. Well, it was two months ago. I kept them up because she wanted me to until she left for college. Maybe it was just me because I don't want to let go. It's hard for us as parents to let go. Absolutely. So this is my part three, sending your kids to college. How can we help them amongst trying to help ourselves navigate this process? So here's some of the tips and tools that I've read about and I'm thinking in my mind, how do we help kids navigate changes? College is very different than high school, than going into middle school and other changes like that because you're actually leaving home for a period of time. It's okay to say to your child, listen, I know you're really stressed. Let's talk about your feelings because sometimes we don't want to talk about it because then that, you know, we don't want to admit something's happening and let's press, repress it because we don't want to cry and let it all out. It's good to let it out. It's good to feel things because if it's better after the fact because you have to let these things out over time. Otherwise, you become toxic and all bottled up inside and that's not good for your overall health and it's not good for your child's health. So say... I know you're stressed or worried or anxious. Let's talk about whatever feelings you're feeling because I'm feeling them too. Number two, you could actually say to them, here's my experiences from when I was a freshman, if I went to college or if you went to college and say, here's what I experienced. And for, like me, I wanted to leave home, but then I didn't want to leave home. And then I relied on my parents even more, even though I couldn't wait to get away from them. Sorry, mom and dad. I know you were ready to get away from me too but just that little break can actually make your relationship better sometimes. So saying to them, it's okay to be excited. You're not gonna hurt my feelings if you're excited about going to school and you don't need to stay here to save me, right? Because they might see us being sad and they might feel some internal guilt or I'm leaving my mom or my dad, but I also wanna go. It's okay for them to wanna be independent and to move forward in their life. So allowing them to have those feelings is a wonderful thing. Also, you can say to them, I know that you're going to be there and probably missing us. And there's no shame in missing home. And there's no shame in calling and talking and FaceTiming. You know, technology is fantastic right now. When I was in school, we didn't have that. We had a hallway phone that some random person had to pick up and call my name down the hallway to see if I was here so my parents could contact me. I'm sorry for that too, mom and dad. You didn't get to see me all the time or hear, hear my voice on, on my phone. So at least we have that technology for our kids. We can, you know, contact them. We can see them. They can feel more comfortable FaceTiming us and at least seeing us if they're far away from home and missing us. It's okay to miss your family and it's absolutely okay to reach out and talk to them. We all need to plug in with the people that we feel comfortable with because it gives us a boost to go on with our lives. We need hugs every day and talks every day. So just seeing us maybe on FaceTime or a daily text or a phone call however you've set up communication for yourself and your peace of mind and your child is going to make this transition a lot easier I just know it and what else see if you can schedule times to see them if they want to see you try that say listen I'll see you in a couple months a couple weeks in a month's time I'll see you for parents weekend whatever it is have something to look forward to for you and for them they might not want to admit that they need to see you but they probably do and you probably want to see them too. But don't overextend yourself. Like I was told in our freshman orientation was, don't just show up randomly at your child's dorm because you might find something you don't want to see. And they might be mad at you for infringing on their new independent time. And that's okay. It's a new level of respect that we have to grow and change with our child to say, okay, you're more independent now. You're not home all the time for me to tell you what to do. I have to adjust to this. And adjustment is so hard for parents. We're adjusting for them growing. We're still paying their bills possibly, right? And a lot of different ways but they have this independent piece so it's kind of this tug of war of how much do we control how much do we pull back and let them thrive and grow because that's ultimately what we have to do as parents right it's one of the worst jobs I think best and worst we have this job for 18 years and all of a sudden they're gone and we don't they don't need us anymore well they do need us they need us emotionally in their lives if we have a good bond with them they're going to need us and don't worry it's going to be different and it's going to change and I'm probably going to have several breakdowns so message me if you want to have one together have a girls night over you know zoom or whatever like that we need each other to get through these times but talking about these things with your kid is going to help them it's going to prepare them so it's not last minute when you've dropped them off and all the emotions come out 
that's probably going to happen anyway. But if you talk about it now and get prepared mentally and emotionally, it's not going to seem so bad. Oftentimes, the future event we think about is much worse in our minds than when it actually happens. So if you start thinking about it now, mentally preparing, you've got your physical preparations. It's easy to shop online to get all the dorm things. And here's the, here's the last bit that I think is really important is making them feel like home in their dorm room as much as possible. What at home is comfortable for them? What routines do they do that they can take with them that makes them feel like they're home wherever they are? I read an article once about celebrities who travel and they stay in hotels a lot. They do the same routine every morning or sometime during the day that keeps them grounded in their life to make them feel like they're at home still. Or they take something with them. Obviously pillows, blankets, stuffed animals, some little thing that they hold in their hand that they've had from childhood. Something that makes them feel like they're still at home. Do they, do they do yoga in the morning? Journal, what do they do? What practice keeps them grounded that they can also do in college so they feel, oh, all right, here is my safe space internally. And that can help them thrive and grow while they're in college too and adjust to this process. All right, those are just some of my tips and tools that I've come up with so far. So I hope everybody's doing okay, about to send their child off to college right now and Message me, call me, text me, instant message me, and let's see if we can't do this together. It takes a village. Thanks, and I'll see you on the other side.